Leviticus Conwell is a central figure in the intricate tapestry of Red Dead Redemption 2. As a wealthy industrialist and tycoon, Conwell's vast empire and influence are felt throughout the game, making him a formidable adversary and a symbol of the changing times. Born into an era of rapid industrialization, Conwell seized opportunities with both hands. His empire spanned various sectors, from the bustling streets of St. Denis to the far reaches of the American frontier. His interests were diverse, encompassing railroads, oil, sugar, and more. Notably, he had ownership stakes in businesses such as the Conwall City Railway Company, Conwall Co. Freight Yard, Conwall Kerosene and Tar, Southern and Eastern Railway, and the Jameson Mining and Coal Company. These ventures showcased his dominance in sectors like oil and transportation, underscoring his vast reach and influence. Conwall's rise to power wasn't solely based on legitimate business practices. He often engaged in shadowy dealings, aligning himself with controversial figures like Alberto Fusar, the ruler of Guama. Their partnership was primarily commercial, with Cornwall having vested interests in the sugar plantations of the island. Despite Fusar's dubious reputation, Cornwall publicly endorsed him, showcasing his pragmatic approach to business. His influence extended beyond the commercial realm. Cornwall was a significant financier of the Pinkerton National Detective Agency, a relationship that would spell trouble for the Vanderland gang. His political maneuverings were also evident. He struck deals with state officials, offering to modernize the state in exchange for a vast amount of state bonds, and even attempted to subvert federal authority for his benefit. A notable example was his proposal to Colonel Henry Favors of the U.S. Army, aiming to displace the Wapiti Indians from their oil-rich lands, undermining the authority of the federal government in the process. The Vanderland Game, under the leadership of Dutch Vanderland, saw Conwall's vast empire as a treasure trove waiting to be plundered. Their audacious heists and robberies frequently targeted Conwall's assets, leading to a bitter enmity between the two parties. The gang's brazen robbery of a Conwall-owned train was a significant turning point, prompting Conwall to enlist the Pinkertons to hunt them down relentlessly. The skirmishes between Conwall and the gang were numerous and intense. In a dramatic showdown in Valentine, Conwall captured members of the gang, demanding Dutch's surrender. During a high-profile party in St. Denis, Dutch covertly instructed Arthur to pilfer vital documents from Conwall. However, their most explosive encounter transpired in Annisburg. In a bold move, Dutch, accompanied by Micah and Arthur, confronted Conwall face to face. The meeting was volatile and culminated in Dutch fatally shooting Conwall. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Cornwall's death was a pivotal moment, but his shadow loomed large even in his absence. Contrary to Dutch's expectations, the Pinkertons intensified their pursuit of the gang, undeterred by the loss of their benefactor. Cornwall's machinations, particularly concerning the Wapiti Indians, continued to unfold, with the tribe eventually being evicted from their ancestral lands. The game's epilogue reveals that Cornwall's businesses persisted. Cornwall Kerosene and Tar remained operational, though the anticipated oil reserves on the Wapiti Reservation proved disappointing. Furthermore, his railway ventures underwent changes, with the Pacific Union Railroad eventually acquiring the Southern and Eastern Railway. In conclusion, Leviticus Conwall is emblematic of the era depicted in Red Dead Redemption 2. He represents the relentless spirit of industrialization, juxtaposed against the fading era of outlaws and frontier justice. His vast empire, strategic alliances, and confrontations with the Vanderland gang make him a character of immense significance. His legacy, both as a business magnate and as a symbol of the inexorable march of progress, leaves a lasting impression on the narrative and world of Red Dead Redemption 2.